lumbral sacral radiculopathy. This is a common cause of back pain. And what happens is that remember you have spinal nerves leaving the spinal cord. So these are our spinal nerves. Spinal nerves leaving the spinal cord to go out where they need to be around the body. And when they get compressed, this is called this uh, radiculopathy. And I specify lumbosacral because that's the location. So the lumbar or the sacral part of the body, that's where it often happens leading to back pain. And the most common cause of this compression is called a herniated disc. So you have all this nucleus pulposus stuff that's normally here. And if it herniates, it's going to come out and it's going to be pushing on your nerve. And that's going to be compression. So what's going to happen if you compress a nerve? Well, all the things that the nerves do gets affected. So what do nerves do? They're involved in muscle movement. That gets affected. They're involved in sensation. That gets affected. You're going to feel pain. That gets affected. And they're also involved in deep tendon reflexes. So like that knee reflex, knee jerk reflex. So all of those can get reflex, uh, reflect, uh, affected. And the, the, thing, uh, the thing I want to note is that what specific muscles and what specific areas of sensation lost is going to depend on where at the le what level of the spinal cord this compression occurs. Now, you might think it's you're going to see these huge charts that show okay S1, S2, blah blah. Um, you don't have to memorize all that. Please don't memorize all that. Um, it's pretty easy to know because you just have to know your deep tendon reflex levels. So, for example, if you know that the L3 and L4 is the patellar reflex, you know that re that compression in L3 and L4, you're going to lose the patellar reflex. You're going to know that the weakness will be where it's going to be around the knee. And again, the sensation, same area. Um, to carry that even further, um, basically the, the only one you need to, the stuff you, there's a couple things you have to remember. I want you to remember that um, L4 and L5 go back L4 and L5 will be weak dorsiflexion that's um, moving the foot up and L5 to L6 will be weak plantar flexion that's the only thing to, that you really have to memorize and um, remember the L4 and L5 in the spinal cord is above L5 and L6 so dorsiflexion moves the foot up so L4 and L5 is above L5 and L6. Um, and if you have weak dorsiflexion, what's gonna what you're gonna present with is you're gonna have difficulty heel walking, walking on your heels because that requires dorsiflexion. And plantar flexion is uh, difficulty with toe walking because that's what, exactly what you need with plantar flexion. So that's it for lumbar sacral radiculopathy.